Socrative has come up with a great system to help teachers share quizzes across the Socrative community. They have a Google form and you can come there and enter the information about any of the quizzes that you create and you can share them then out with the greater group. A very important feature of sharing is this SOC number because this is how others will bring your quiz into their Socrative platform and it's how you can bring other people's quizzes in. So once Socrative collects all of this information, how do you find it so that you can bring these shared quizzes into your learning environment? Well, they have also shared the results and it is via this Google spreadsheet and the link for this is in the course uh, for both this and the form where you can share your quizzes. So once you come in here, there are dozens and dozens of quizzes. So it may be that you just want to browse through here and see them, but remember that this column that is in this turquoise blue color is where you're going to be capturing the number so that you can identify the quiz that you're importing when you go back into your Socrative account. So I want to find something on a particular topic and I don't want to spend a lot of uh, time scrolling. So I can do Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac and I can bring up this find field. So let's see what I can find. I'm going to look for state capitals and you'll notice that it starts to immediately find those things. So there's actually three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and see that this one is uh, for grade levels 3 to 5. That could be perfect for me. I can browse down to United States state capitals, good for all grade levels. And then I can look that here is just more information about this second find. So maybe I want to look at both of these, but let's look at just how I can import one of them. There's seven questions in this one. There's 50 questions in the second one. So I'm guessing that it probably has every single state and capital in this quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this SOC number uh, so I can import it. And I can do, you know, Control C on a PC, Command C on a Mac. I can right click and choose copy. You know, there's a variety of ways to copy that number. So I have it copied now and I'm going to go into my Socrative account. I'm here in my Socrative account on the launch page, but I actually need to go to the quizzes page to do my import. So I'm going to use this tab and click into quizzes and then I want to add a new one. And if I click the add button, my choice is just to go ahead and create one on my own or to import, which is what I'm doing right now. So I'll click on import, and now oh, here's where I need to put that SOC number. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in, and then I am going to import it. And now I get this wonderful message that it's successfully imported. I see it right here in my list, and I can go ahead and I can open it. I am now in edit mode, so I can get rid of the fact that it says copy and I can start to uh, go through and see my quiz. And that fast, I have a 50-question state capital quiz. The import feature from this shared quiz list is a great way to save time and get some great questions into your account.